Greetings, gentlemen and ladies. You may have noticed something rather peculiar about this scene. Uh, no, it's not the skeleton holding a machine gun. It is the bandana that he's wearing on his head uh, that doesn't seem to have any sort of gravity physics. So we're going to be learning how to apply some clothing simulations to your skeletal mesh uh, so that it moves around uh, like cloth should. All right, let's get into it. So you can start first by opening up the skeletal mesh. Let's do that. And from here, you'll want to make sure you have the clothing uh, tab open. You can find that under window and clothing. Here it is. Okay, so first off, click on your skeletal mesh, uh, uh, left click on it to highlight it, and then right click and create a clothing section from data and click create. Now it should appear right up here, your clothing section under your clothing tab. Next, go ahead and click on Activate Cloth Paint. And now you will you can select the uh, clothing section that we just created here. And the whole thing should turn a beautiful shade of purple. Now, in my case, the geometry is kind of upside down and backwards, but that's okay. We'll, we'll work with this. So right now, if I hover over, you can see this giant brush appears. Now, if you scroll down under the clothing tab to your brush settings, you can change the radius of your brush right down here. So I'm going to actually switch to five. And as you can see, that's a much more reasonable brush size. Now, whatever I paint with this brush will become cloth. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and paint that. Now, whatever you paint becomes cloths. Remember that. And there are a bunch of different brush settings like strength and fall off and that sort of stuff. So if you want to affect uh, how strong a uh, cloth uh, application is, I guess you could say, uh, you could potentially paint it like less with less strength, let's say, to have a, a, um, a firmer cloth. Now, I haven't played around a ton with all of those settings myself, so I'm not going to advise you too much on that. But what I can say is that this purple part now, that's actually kind of green because it's all selected, uh, this is the anchor point. This is the part that will not be cloth. And this part right in here, this white stuff, uh, white painted part, will be cloth in our final simulation. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and deactivate cloth paint. And now if you want to test your simulation, you can right click and apply clothing data from the clothing data that we created. And now, oh, a little bit of FPS, there we go. Now we have our clothing, which is, uh, well, acting like clothing. Okay, now the other thing that you're probably going to want to keep in mind, and this may not apply so much for me because I just have like a simple little headband, uh, but this clothing will fall around the physics of your physics asset. Uh, so, for example, let's say that you're wearing a skirt or some, or let's say you want to keep this particular uh, item uh, from... Uh, uh, let's say overlapping your character's head like getting into your character's head for example um, let's actually let me uh, let's actually jump into editor really quick here and i can show you what we've accomplished so far okay so as you can see we do have that clothing simulating like clothing but what we also have is some uh, overlap of geometry where we don't want that clothing to and we also have kind of a weird sort of hovering up behind the head uh, as you can probably see there a little bit, maybe. Anyway, let's fix that by adjusting our physics asset. And the way to do that is head on over back into our skeletal mesh, and we can find our physics asset for our skeletal mesh. And we, I'm just going to actually go ahead and open that, browse to that, and open the physics asset for the skeletal mesh. And from here, we can see the physics asset for the skeletal mesh. And as you can see, it's uh, not really well positioned. So I'm going to kind of want to place this physics asset in a way that uh, is going to stop the uh, clothing part from clipping into whatever I don't want it to be clipping into. Now mine's kind of upside down and backwards, like I, like I mentioned. Hopefully you guys have an easier time figuring out where the geometry is going to be on your model but I'm going to just kind of monkey around here. There we go. Front view, and now I can see that if I turn this a little bit more like so, like I say, working working upside down and backwards here, uh, that's fine. That's normal Unreal Engine stuff. But as you can see, um, what I've done here is I've kind of blocked off 
with my physics as uh, physics object where the abs uh, clothing is not supposed to clip through basically so if you don't have a, a shape on your uh, physics asset you can just go ahead and add it add a shape like this whatever kind of shape works best for your uh, for your needs um, but now if I go ahead and click save on that hopefully we'll get some better results hopefully we'll get some better results yeah I think so um, we actually still have that clipping a little bit too far back uh, by the looks of it so I might actually just make that uh, physics object a little bit tighter in may, may make it a little bit smaller um, let me see there so I'm just gonna go ahead and scale that down a bit maybe something like that just bring it a little bit more in line with what the head is going to look like and there's you know this is the tweaking and tuning and monkeying around uh, section segment there we go actually that looks a lot better look at that that's a way better now it's still actually clipping through some of my models uh, skeleton down below which I don't really want so again I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust that physics object uh, to be a little bit taller that way uh, it shouldn't be able to clip through and again it doesn't need to be that high up but it doesn't really matter if it's higher in my case so I'm just gonna leave it like that that should be fine um, back into my test level there we go and now we should be pretty good pretty good not too bad um, still clipping a little bit over his shoulder so what I might actually even do here to make that a little bit better is I might actually go ahead now is that I can't tell which way is up and which way is down on this I think up is down and down is up but I'm not a hundred percent sure but what I might actually go ahead and do is just add in another uh, collision object to again kind of prevent this headband from going into my character's body in this case and again I think upside it's upside down and backwards in my case so I think up is down and down is up but all you can really do is test until you figure it out yeah okay there we go I think I got that the right way around it does sort of seem to be flapping around kind of wildly but again that's going to be a matter of tweaking some of the uh, physics assets and configuration and maybe even the thickness of the cloth uh, and its rigidity now I might I might actually even have this backwards but I'm gonna conclude this video here and leave some of the fine tweaking and settings kind of up to you because they will be very much dependent on what your particular needs are there we go actually I think I might have done it backwards before yeah it's not too bad it's not too bad. That kind of that kind of works. That's not too bad. Anyway, tweaking and tuning. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the in the next one. Yeah, not too bad. A little bit of tweaking left, but yeah, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>